And so there's this amazing scene where he goes to sign up for this commune, and Kafka has this amazing scene where everyone is playing whatever they want to on long golden horns, like a huge traffic jam, like an elegant cacophony. I ask the kids, if you could portray your spirit, your voice, your past, your present, your future in the form of a golden horn, what would that horn look like? After six months of long, boring-ass horns, where the kids just hated doing this project, just, I think, out of sheer desperation and boredom, a kid who I know who now lives in West, West Philly, Gregorio Torres, started creating this very eccentric wild horn. And the other kids started competing. It reminded me of a great musician that I love named Dizzy Gillespie. So later that day, I went and got videotapes. The next day, we had Diz wailing on the video and the kids drawing like maniacs, painting on the book pages that are glued beautifully to Belgian linen, and so we started out small, and then the horns started accumulating and accumulating until they grew into, yeah, you know, ooh and ah, I love that. Uh, right, this is America 3, which is a promised gift to the Art Institute of Chicago. So they become these, it, it, America is not this Walt Disney version of America where everyone walks alike and talks alike and eats the same food. And it, it is not a small world after all. It's a big world. It's a complex world. It's filled with difference and it's filled with conflict, as we all know. And so we love to portray America as a, a group of golden instruments and voices all fighting for their own time, their own space, and their own dignity. Again, it's like an elegant chaos. This is America 7, and this is the first museum acquisition, and this is kind of what, what paved the way for the work we're able to do now. As you can see, we got an Uzi in there. We have the AIDS virus. We have the M taken from the old German film called M, the child murder on the back. We have the ear from Horton Hears a Who. We have the cross of thorns from um, the Eisenheim altarpiece by Grunewald. And then we have stuff that is of our own invention. This is called America a Refuge, which is in the permanent collection of the Hirshhorn Museum in Washington. It's up right now. And this is America 12, which was just acquired this year. Oh, I'm thrilled because that was a hard nut to crack by the Tate Gallery in London. And we're showing you this because this is, we're very proud of this. This was commissioned by um, a couple people you know, Bill and Hillary Clinton, President and Mrs. Clinton, for his inauguration poster. All right? I still like the dude. He's all right. And, and uh, what's so interesting is I'm really excited about it because uh, some of the kids remember, we, not only were we excited about the commission, but we had to produce it in one night. They could not decide. They were fighting on who would get it. We finally got it. They wanted to use a ready-made image. We wanted to make something special. And so we did this in one intense evening. You know deadlines are very inspirational. And guess what, art students, you know, the day before the review, the day before, it doesn't change, so don't worry about it. Just, it's going to be that way all the time. A critic wrote, oh, the work of Tim Rollins and KOS, you can see the passion of its making. I said, honey, that's not passion, that's panic. 